So I have a bit of time today, and I want to finish this thing. Um, well, maybe not finish it, but uh, it was walking slower than I wanted, so I'm replacing two of the gears with different gears that'll make it walk faster. And I've replaced one already. Oh, such a pain to figure out what size the gears were because I lost all the files in a computer explosion. Okay, it didn't really explode, but uh, it totally broke. And I lost a bunch of files, all the files for that thing. But that's okay, I've already made one. It took like four months to make. I'm not making another one. Plus, I, I still have all the, the build files on my little card that goes in my 3D printer. But anyway, I had to do lots of measuring and trial and error and blah, 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 to get the uh, gears the right size. But it looks like that one that's in there now is good. And we're going to print the other one right now. Oops. Do, 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 do. Alright, do your thing, Mr. Printer. What is that, a robot, Rara? Uh. Oh, are we fixing the robot? Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna take a while to print that part. You wanna go jump on the trampoline? Uh. Cool. Ho ho! I guess I should explain a little bit what's going on here. So there's a motor that drives the whole thing, and the motor spins really, really fast, but it's not very strong. So we use gears to slow down the, the motion and increase the strength. Kind of like this. See, we've got a gear here where it's got a little gear turning a big gear, and the little gear has to turn like five times or something to get this big one to turn around once. So I have to turn this like crazy and then oops, let me get this other one in line too. And then this one has a little gear turning this one so it has to, uh, this one has to turn another five times to get this one to turn once. So between here and there it ends up being a ratio of 25 times. I have to turn this one around 25 times to get this one to spin around once, right? Um, <clears throat> now if I want to speed this one up and I don't want to change the holes where the gears go because, you know, I've got this robot, it's all put together, it's got the holes. I don't want to have to reprint out, like, all the, the gear casing and everything. I just want to change the, the ratio of the, the gear thingies. So if I want to do that, I can change the size of this gear and change the size of this little gear here. This little one and this big one. So make this big one smaller and this little one bigger and that will change the gear ratio between those two and speed up the final thing. Uh, the trade-off is then it also ends up being weaker and I'm not entirely sure if the motor will be strong enough to do it, but if not, I'll just have to get a stronger motor somewhere. But anyway, what I'm, what I'm basically doing is, here I'll do it. See, I'm gonna take this, this big gear, make it smaller, this little gear, make it bigger. Poof! So now this one is smaller and this one is bigger. Eh, they're actually exactly the same size now because that's the Lego pieces I had. Um, so that means these two things spin at the same rate uh, instead of five to one. Backwards though, reversed. Um, but the one, the one in the robot isn't, isn't um, changed so they're exactly the same size. It's still, the bigger one's still a little bit bigger and the smaller one's still a little bit smaller. But anyway, it changes the ratio like that. There you go. All right, here's my newly printed out gear. I think it looks pretty good. Just need to rip off all the excess stuff. And cut a layer off there. Oh good, they're shooting everywhere. That'll be easy to clean up. And then sand it a bit. Ooh, I can just tip this down and there it is. Oh right, I have to drill it out too. Looks like the right one. Just have to make sure the hole fits. Hey, 
Excellent. And with a massive pile of luck, that'll fit in there perfectly. Oh my gosh, I think it did! Uh, reattach the motor. Sweet. I think I might just have to put a washer back there, because it's not as long as the original. Uh, no, I think it's alright, actually. Yeah, totally fine. And where's my rubber band to hold my motor back? Oh, I do happen to have a washer. These come off super glue. And this will be great because I'll be able to get rid of one. Hey, get back there. Did I say rubber band? I meant spring and wire thingy. Huh. I guess I can test it. Totally not strong enough. Darn. Now there is a chance it's just not getting enough power because this thing is from England and it runs off 220 and it, you know, it outputs the correct voltage sometimes until it starts straining and then it just can't keep up. So I'm going to charge up this here 12 volt battery and try it in a little bit. All right, let's try it with this battery. Hmm, maybe it will be okay, although it's struggling a little. I could change the gear ratio to slow it down just a tiny bit to give it more strength. That means I have to print out two more gears. Or I can switch to a bigger motor. Uh, that probably won't tear the thing to shreds. Hmm. Should totally have enough power. Too bad I don't have one of those magical devices that'll tell me how fast these things are going. like they're sort of close to the same speed. Uh, I'm just gonna have to try this. Alright, I need to make a gear for this, which means I need to know how big the axle is. It's about the same. Quarter inch. Alright. <laughs> My funny computer, I have to take it out to get it to work. What's a quarter inch in millimeters? All right, 25.4 divided by 4, 6.35, right? So I'll make a 6, and then I should be able to drill it out to the right size, easily. Oh, yep. Let's do this, and like that. Ah! Oh, look at that. Hmm, Okay, I'll do it again. 